So why have you started the Stamford Bridge Tapestry Project? Fulford, um, just outside York, they, start, they stitched a tapestry several years ago telling the story of the Battle of Fulford, which was the first of the three battles in 1066. The third battle was, of course, the Battle of 1066, and the Bayer Tapestry uh, tells the story of that. Then there was Stamford Bridge, which happened in the middle, uh, so we decided that the gap needed filling. <laughs> and the Stamford Bridge Tapestry, how is it similar to the Bayer Tapestry? Well, um, it's similar in style, uh, in that it has a centre panel which tells the story of the battle and then we'll have borders top and bottom with, we're not quite sure yet what with, <laughs> but it'll tell a uh, story of the life in, the, in the, those times I think and anything relevant to that period of history. And what does it mean to the local community to have such a fantastic project going on? Well, uh, the, the local community are really excited about it um, and they've started calling it our tapestry so they've laid claim to it already and, and that's really good, that's what we want because we don't just want it as a stitching project, we want to use it um, to make known the Battle of Stamford Bridge more widely. For example, we're going to take it into um, schools just before the battle reenactment weekend this year, which is uh, commemorating the 950th anniversary of the battle. And we give talks about the battle and the tapestry to any organisation that asks us. And um, we've been out this summer to various uh, local shows and summer fairs and things. So we are gradually extending the knowledge of both the tapestry and the battle. And people are really interested in their local history. And how many people are working on it? The number varies, but I suppose an average of 15 steady workers, I would say. And where will it be displayed eventually? It doesn't have a permanent home as yet. We hope that in the fullness of time, the village will raise money to build a visitor centre for the Battle of Stamford Bridge and, and the village. And in which case, then it will go in there. Until then... We are hoping that we can tour it around various galleries and museums and other venues in East, East Yorkshire in particular, but probably in York as well and further afield if we're invited. And finally, how long will it take to complete? I don't have a deadline. Uh, the people stitching are all volunteers and it, Volunteers give up their time for free. They all have different amounts of time to give. Things happen in their lives and people come and people go. So with a community project, I've learned never to uh, estimate a time, but just go with the flow.